What's going on guys? It's Red Bull Tanker and Emperor's Hand coming at you with Axis and Allies D-Day turn six. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's start it off. All right, so Naval Bombardment. We were able to roll a one on the Fortune card and we got three hits. So we took out a pillbox here, here, and here. Fighters, I rolled a six and only four fighters were able to go out. And I put one here, here, here. And then one down here as well. Um, they did okay. Um, I had no bombers for any bomber strikes, so that kind of sucked, to be honest. So um, there was that. Um, I picked territories that didn't have any anti-aircraft gun for the fighters. So there was no anti-aircraft gun fire for the fighters. And obviously, since I didn't have bombers... There were no bombers that need to get rolled against. So then next we have the bombers return. I didn't roll a one, so none of my bombers were able to come back into the game. Movements. All right, so let's see here. I took the 90th and its artillery, and we went north into Cherbourg. I took this artillery from here, went here. Uh, this regiment of the 9th Infantry and its artillery came down here. These units, the 30th Infantry from Omaha Beach, came down here. I moved forces off of Omaha to here and here because you can only have eight units in a zone. Um, so probably have to look back at some of the older videos and I'll probably see that I made mistakes there, which I think I kind of did, but there's that. Moved some reinforcements into here, moved into here, reinforced this area and moved into that area. See. Next was blockhouses. However, Emperor's Hand doesn't have any blockhouses to fire at sea anymore. We have no more reinforcements to land on the beaches. So for attacks, up here there was an infantry artillery. I killed the infantry. Uh, Emperor's Hand got no hits. Um, let's see here. Where else was there combat? There was combat down here. That kind of ended in a draw combat here was a draw well the, i had six tanks against an artillery and a tank and i killed the artillery um there was an artillery here that i won against that she missed and then up here was an artillery tank that we ended up winning up here although i lost two infantry in that fight so that was our combat so then moves emperor's hand has been slowly moving forces in and around san lo and trying to push forces back towards con to mixed results uh, my fighters did do an okay job with hitting her hitting her units as they left or entered different zones um so for her attacks unfortunately on the fortune card she rolled a one or no she rolled a six so she can only attack in two zones this turn and she attacked here uh it cost me an infantry and then she attacked here, that cost me a tank. But I killed one infantry here and one infantry here. So the Brits are holding the line on their part of the board. And luckily there were no attack, I guess lucky, unlucky that there were no attacks made in the American zones. I was really hoping that she'd be forced to attack here and we could probably clear Cherbourg out this turn now too. But so then after that, um, pretty much the fighter, uh, no reinforcements for either of us, as our cards are now completely empty. And then rolled to send my fighters home, but I got a four, so I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't roll one, so I couldn't bring any of my fighters back. Uh -huh. And so I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's it for us and turn six, and we'll see you guys next time for turn seven. So until then, guys, as always, take care. Bye-bye.